All right, everybody. Shalom and welcome to my studios in Hebron, Hebron, Judea, Israel. And today I wanted to do something a little bit different, which is to show you what it's like to tweet out there on X as a pro-Israel Twitterer, Xer, uh, and to face the uh, incredible keyboard warriors of the jihad uh, who spew endless amounts of hate out there, especially when you have a tweet that starts to give any kind of like excitement and push for Israel. And you know what? You can you can be out there on Twitter or X or other social media platforms. You could get this despair. You could you could start feeling despair or despondent or, um, or or depressed because of all the hate that's out there, right? And and I think that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make you despondent and despaired and depressed. And uh, we won't let them. We shall not let them. Why not? Because this is the most exciting time for the Jewish people in, in two thousand years. We are back to our land. We are rebuilding the third commonwealth. And this is an amazing time for the Jewish people. Seven million Jews live in the land of Israel. It's a tiny piece of land within the Middle East, within the Arab Middle East. And we're eking out an existence through our defense uh, and through our, our faith in God uh, and our history. So we're not in the business of being depressed in despair or despondent. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we don't uh, face the firing squad out there of the haters, uh, there's also a lot of lovers. Don't forget that. But let's take a look at some of what the haters are up to. So I'm going to change the screen for a second. Here we go. Let's take a look at what it's like. So I put out a post that said, training with my team today, All right? Training with my team today. Uh, Israel's ready to fight for a thousand years if need be. Why did I write that? Because, because a lot of times um, the Israeli line is to say, uh, we want peace. We just want peace. And, and peace is nice. The problem is, is that when you start talking like that, you know what happens? The enemy starts to identify a weakness in you. They start to identify that you want peace so much that you're willing to give up your land and then therefore give up your defenses and hope for a pipe dream that you're going to somehow cut away this land, give them some land and appease them and thereby gain peace. You shall not be gaining any peace if you appease them. And that's what I tell my friends. I say to them, listen, you have to write to them that while we are peace-loving people, we are willing to fight for a thousand years for our rights and for our land. Okay, so that's why I wrote that. And I also added a little text box that said, God is with us. And you could see that this is uh, the rapid response team that I train with. Some guys are a little bit older uh, and they're veteran, awesome shooters, awesome defenders. Not everybody's older, but there certainly are some awesome guys there that are strong. And uh, that's the way it's supposed to be, like like rabbis with guns, right? That's got you got the holiness side, you got the God side, and then you got and the history side, and then you got you know the defense side. And that's uh, that's actually what Israel is. It's a it's an it's an armed ethnic minority, a defensive minority with an amazing past and an incredible destiny. So let's take a look at some of the comments. First, my buddy Jeremy Gimpel writes: Some people on your team look like they've already been fighting for a thousand years. <laughs> Good one, Jeremy. That's funny. Uh, making a little age joke there. No problem, buddy. He actually happens to be a very dear friend of mine, so I, I let him make that joke. And then there's this guy who writes, what are, you, what are you hunting with those rifles? Well, the answer is we're not hunting anything. We're defending. But I wrote back bad guys. I wrote back bad guys. Well, a whole thing ensued. We'll get to the kind of responses that we're going to hear from uh, – from people who didn't like, actually, you know what? I'll click through here. All right, let's see what happens when I click through on this uh, on this response. So I wrote bad guys. So he writes, how do, how do guys qualify as bad? If they're jihadists with a Nazi ideology and they hate Israel and they want to destroy us, they qualify as bad. That's the answer to your question. But then you get this, you get this, you get this guy, trials and tribulations. He puts up this little emoji of a watermelon. The, the 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 so-called Palestinians will call them pallies from here on. They somehow have now identified themselves with the watermelon. Okay, because of the colors. Uh, whatever. So 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 this guy writes, you misspell children, i.e., we're hunting children. And then you got uh, you got all, all kinds of people who say that you're you know shooting children all the time. That's the that's the big one. Uh, because the blood libel is that that Israel is somehow hunting children specifically. Not, not that Hamas attacked Israel and now we're trying to clean out that nest of jihadism. Not that Hamas loves when children are hurt because that's exactly their 
strategy about how to defeat Israel, which is to make sure that make sure that children are struck and civilians are struck so that they could go to the newspapers and show, look how evil Israel is, right? They literally set out to strike our civilians and they took babies hostages and they shoot rockets endlessly, tens of thousands of rockets, rockets since 2005 at, at the civilian populations. But now that we are striking them hard, they were prepared for that to, to sell you the narrative that Israel is the abuser of children, all right? So let's get back to some of the other ones. See, as I said to you, we have a lot of friends as well. My friend Herb says, my friend Herb, Herb says, God bless all those who protect the Jewish people. I'm Israel Chai now and forever. And uh, the amazing rabbi, Rabbi Shlomo Katz writes, Hagiborim Shalano, our heroes. So then you have all kinds of other people. Then you have this guy. Let's see what Hazaria Sucks writes. He writes, you never bring peace wherever you go. You never bring peace wherever you go. Good luck on taking on the whole world. Taking on the whole world. I'm not taking on the whole world. I'm just trying to live in my ancestral homeland. I'm not taking on the whole world. The Jewish people have been a blessing for the whole world. So how would we be taking on the whole world? I don't understand that. Uh, and then this guy adds that same kind of commentary. Here. It's correct. That's exactly what Jews do. Keep fighting with everyone around them. Is that what the Jewish people are famous for? For fighting with everyone around them? Certainly not. But we will defend ourselves since we are a post-Holocaust people. We know what this ideology leads to, and we will not let it destroy our peoplehood. So we're going to fight back. But then this guy writes, he writes, our prayers are with you. So there are people from around the world uh, who really feel strongly that they're identifying with Israel. But then this guy, G for Gaza, P for PAL resistance, writes, there is no Isra. And then he's got a poopy sign for the end of Isra. So Isra poop, right? There is no Israel. Well, bad news for the haters, there is an Israel, period. <laughs> it exists, baby. You're not going to do anything about it. And then he's got whatever, some posters. Let's get to some of the, the, mo the other comments. Um, writes this guy, the Jackson Homestead, he goes, I need that crew working on my farm. Keep up the good work. All of Israel, all for Israel. And then this guy writes... The older gentleman is fit and ready to fight. I don't know which older gentleman he's referring to. If it's me, then you're right. And the other guys are as well. And so, and this guy writes, IDF, we are behind you. Destroy Hamas. But then the bad guys write, won't be, won't be around that long, Team Iran, Israel terrorist organization. So well, I just want you to know that the first uh, replies to the tweets were the positive ones because they're my followers. But then it gets to the haters got a hold of this tweet, right? And let's... Let's remember, by the way, where we're at. I just want to remind you, this is the original tweet. Okay, it's me and my team uh, uh, training with my team today. Israel's ready to fight for a 1,000 years if need be. Let's keep going and see what other uh, folks are writing. All right, they say, uh, uh, let's see. That was something, something. Fighting for what? Hazaria or Middle East? As in, this guy's trying to say, you guys are not from around here. You're Khazars. That's another whole line. The Jews are not Jews. We're not, we're not from here. We're not actually the real Jewish people. We're not the Jewish people of the Quran. We're not from here. We're Khazars, some kind of tribe that uh, converted to, to Judaism and now is, is land grabbing. That's another whole like line of narrative, which is we are not not only we not only thieves of this land, we're thieves of this whole identity. Okay. Let's see. Let's see some other uh, some um, some other uh, 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 replies um, we have here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I like this one. Doubt you or your country will finish the, this century, my guy. So you doubt that the Jewish people are going to uh, uh, Israel is going to finish the century. OK, I'll take that bet. I'm willing to bet that we're going to be awesome at the end of um of uh the 2000s whatever the uh, the two the, the we're 2024 i bet you that by the year 2100 israel is going to be big and strong but you say you doubt it that's okay you can doubt that and so this guy uh palestine the heart of humanity writes i doubt that very much 
I guess he means he doubts that we're going to be here. Or we're going to we're going to fight for a thousand years. You see that fight for a thousand years thing really does bother them. OK, now here's another very important line of the haters, which is or until U.S. funding ends. Dun, dun, dun. You're you're only here because of U.S. funding. Israel's GDP is 500 billion a year. And U.S. Uh, assistance for joint defense development is three billion dollars a year out of 500 billion gdp but this guy believes that the whole th reason that israel exists is because of u.s funding okay i don't think that's right uh and then viking fury writes where have you been for a thousand years i'll answer you we've been dispersed we've been dispersed some of us actually stayed in the land uh, but we were dispersed to Europe and to Sephardic countries and to this region, to Syria, to Yemen, to Iraq, uh, to Iran, uh, to Europe, to France and Germany uh, and England and then to the United States. We've been dispersed. And now for the last 500 years, we're in a process of ingathering. It's one of the most incredible processes that humanity has ever seen, which is the ingathering of the Jewish people to land of Israel. Now, this starts something else. This guy, Eric, is now showing videos ostensibly of an IDF soldier being shot and killed. These are very hard videos. I don't know if it's a true video or not. And indeed, in war, uh, even our soldiers get killed. Uh, and guess what? That's not something that's going to stop us. Okay, we, we, we are in a war. We know that we're in a war. We know that we're in the war. And yes, we lose so soldiers sometimes. And civilians, but we're going to keep fighting for a thousand years if need be. And here comes another guy named uh, uh, Yursi Said, right? P uh, probably a an anti Israel Arab, at least that's how he presents himself. He goes, You know, deep down inside that Israel will not survive in its current form another 80 years. I agree with you, it's not going to survive in its current form, it's going to be way bigger and awesomer. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, Israel. You're right. And then he writes, you have no roots in this area. We have no roots in this area. You dig, you dig an inch underneath the ground and you find Jewish remains here in Hebron. We've lived here in the city continuously for over 3,000 years. We have remains here. We have found bulai uh, from, uh, from, 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 oh, from, from the Davidic period, from close to the Davidic period. We're talking about 28, 2,900 years ago. Not to mention Second Temple. That's easy. We have a second temple building here called the Tomb of the Patriarchs and Matriarchs, the Machpelah. We have no roots in this land. I mean, the nerve, the nerve. We have no roots in this land, really. We are the roots of this land. The Arabs that came here in the first Arab conquest in the, in the seventh century, they have much less roots here. And they, of course, come from Saudi Arabia. I don't deny that they have been here for the last 1600 years, but that's much less than our three and a half thousand years. We've been here for more than for about two thousand years, more than the Arabs in this region, in this in this part of the region. He writes, "You are nomadic tribes roaming the desert of the Middle East between the great civilizations of Egypt, Syria, Iraq, Persia, and Turkey." Uh, we were definitely around when there were these empires. You know, uh, we fought wars with them, these empires, like Syria. We fought wars with Syria. That's called Hanukkah. Uh, we definitely lived in Iraq. We still have Jews living in Persia. Uh, and and we definitely started coming back to Turkey when the Turkish Empire welcomed its Jews after the Spanish, uh, the, 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 the eviction of the Jews from Spain and, um, and uh, the, the Inquisition. So we went to Turkey and soon we were able to go back to the Holy Land. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Here's a picture of Hitler. All right. Let's see if there's anything else that we could find. Oh, this person is laughing because they're laughing. See, they love to laugh. They think they're laughing at us. And that's why I tell them we're ready to fight for a thousand years. It's no laughing matter. It's hard for them. Uh, and and he, this guy writes murderous clowns. Boy, that is scary. Murderous clowns. I don't want murderous clowns. And this guy writes genocidal army. Okay. I mean, we're not so good at genocide. We haven't genocided anybody. We've been victims of genocide. We haven't genocided anybody. There's like tons of Arabs around here and, and there's just no, there's no sign of genocide. Yes. There's been a war in Gaza and it's killed a lot of people. It's nothing like the war that the Arabs make on themselves 
It's not like the 500,000 uh, Arabs that, that Assad murdered uh, in Syria, right? It's not nothing near what's been happening in the Ukraine, but okay, genocide. That's that's the uh, that's that's the uh, li lingo. Here's another one: kids buster. Okay, like bunker buster, but you're killing kids. And this guy writes: Good luck. Pack your diapers. Don't forget. Okay. See, they have it both ways. It's like we're we're horrific, but we're also but we're also cowardly. All right. Oh, here's Omar with the flag of Israel. I think he's got a picture of Hitler there. Yeah, it's a picture of Hitler. And a Palestinian flag, and he writes, "By God, you mean U.S. right? As in, instead of God is with us, the U.S. is with us." Ah, <laughs> uh, so funny. Um, here's I like this one. You coward! So go to the front lines in Gaza and prove it. Prove what? I'm in the front lines of Hebron and Judea. That's not good enough. I have to go fight in Gaza. Prove what? That we're going to defend our land everywhere. That we're going to defend Jerusalem. What are you What are you saying here? I don't understand. Um, let's see. This is a different one here. Not sure the world's sodomization capital called Israel will last a thousand years. The land of Israel is holy, but the state of Israel is an abomination. So all I could say about that is the state of Israel is a vehicle to fulfill the age-old dream of the ingathering of the exiles. It is a vehicle to defend the Jewish people, to uphold Jewish culture, and to make sure that our ethnic minority in this region uh, survives. That is the goal of the state of Israel. That is what, that is what it's here for. And it's not an abomination. Does it make mistakes? Yes. Uh, does it have a great system? Some parts are good and some parts are our medium. Okay. But it is certainly, certainly not an abomination. It is an amazing vehicle to fulfill that age old dream of the ingathering of the land of Israel. Uh, and then here's this guy again writing, Israel is ready to fight for a thousand years with U.S. military aid. I think that we should have uh, relationships and partnerships with all kinds of countries, including superpowers like the U.S. and maybe India, and maybe the UAE, like the Abraham Accords. There are many ways to have relationships, and you need relationships, strategic relationships. Of course, when they tell you to not fight, you got to fight. Uh, and that's very important that uh, that Israel understands that even if we have a relationship with the United States, it can't be a strategic detriment. There are times when you have to say, hey, we got to go at it alone if you don't understand the importance of this thing. Uh, and then you got, you'll have to explain this to God eventually. Again, the baby killer line. All right, this is an interesting one. Here's, look at this one. Look at this one. There's a, there's a picture that, uh, that you don't get a lot. This is one of these AI moments, you know? It's like, it's like, what command do you put into AI in order to make this? Make me a devil evil creature uh, with Zionism in the background and, in the, and on the forehead. I mean, it's a creative thing. It's really a creative thing. Uh, but I want you to know that this picture is really something that not a few uh, Arabs, not a few Muslims, and not a few Israel haters believe in. They really believe that Israel is some kind of devil, some kind of antichrist, some kind of thing. Uh, and uh, that's that's too bad because uh, the Bible tells us that uh, that those who bless Israel will be blessed. Uh, and the Jewish people are coming back to Israel because God wants that. Uh, and this devil creature is, uh, is 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 more of a reflection of the haters than anything else. Uh, this is this is some kind of satanic thing. Uh, and Israel's actually beautiful. Israel's is 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 young and vibrant and alive, and and is a source of blessing and a source of knowledge for this world, and could be a source of great uh, peace in this region if if they would accept it. Uh, but sadly, that's the that's the image. Here's a here's a a, a picture uh, of uh, one of the leaders uh, of Hamas uh, that um, is um, uh, Sinwar. He's he's basically probably the the brain behind uh, the October seventh attacks. I'm not sure what this picture is supposed to give me here. And look at this. I like this one also. Mom, look, I is chosen. I'm chosen. I can now kill, rape, smuggle organs, and steal the land of the Palestinians. Yay, Ashkid Nazi. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's that, that. There's a lot of stuff in there in that in that in that hateful meme. Uh, you know, first thing, it's the chosen. Uh, you know, the Jewish people uh, are promised the land of Israel, uh, are promised to, to, to continue to survive through the generations and, and have children. And this is the land that they will inherit. Uh, this is the land that was given to Abraham by God. 
It's a small piece of land, really. Uh, but remember, the Arabs are also at least identify themselves as, as the children of Abraham. And they also live in this region uh, because the broader borders, uh, what's called from the river to the sea, i.e. from the Euphrates to the sea, is really the children of Abraham. And that really is the Arabs and the Jews. And that's where we exist. The other river to the sea is really the River Jordan and, and the little bit past it. And then to the Mediterranean, it's much smaller borders. That's supposed to be the Jewish peoples. So, but this guy is throwing in the blood libel. I can, we can now kill, rape, smuggle organs, steal land, Palestinians. Basically, this is like the ultimate. It's got it all. It's got the blood libel. We're murderers. We're, we, we're stealing somebody else's land. Instead of saying it's our land and somebody's trying to, the big dynamic around here is that the jihadism is trying to take away our land. You know, we've been fighting wars against the whole Arab world. Six Arab armies, seven Arab armies attacked us in 48. We had to push them back in 67, push them back from trying to annihilate us in, in 73. Okay, uh, but we're the thieves. We're this tiny little piece of, of land in this region. We're the thieves, and, 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 and we are not the rapists, and we're not the smugglers of organs. But okay, there you go. And the, we're the Nazis, according to this guy as well. So there you go. Okay. See, and this guy also adds into it. He says, we're the Nazis now. Yeah, the Jewish people are the Nazis. We're the anti-Nazis. We're the anti-colonialist because we're actually kicking out the colonialist uh, Islam aspect, the jihadist aspect. We're pushing it back. We're pushing back all the other colonial institutions that were here, the Turks and the Brits and the, their, their, uh, their creation, the Jordanians uh, and the Mamluks uh, and the Crusaders. We're not the continuation of the Crusaders. We're the healers of all that land conquest of people holding on to our land uh, and, uh, and uh, the, the rightful custodians are back. Um, but, but this picture, again, another AI moment. Um, and what is the tagline? Zionism is an anti-Semitic death cult. Not the jihad that calls for death all the time, right? Not the jihad that destroys Syria and Egypt and Iraq. And Iran, not that jihad that destroys all those societies and, 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 and subjugates women and creates such a like a dull society. No, we, Israel, this flourishing light in the Middle East, uh, which I call the Abrahamic region, by the way, we're the Nazis now. All right. Let's see if we can get into any happy replies to finish off the video. Um, let's see. Hope you're all wiped out. That's what this guy writes. Hope you're all wiped out. Well, I like that. At least you're telling your truth. That's good. Um, and then this guy writes, Muhammad Sabir writes, if God is with you, then leave United States alone, please. Why is that? Why should we do that? Why? Because God is with us. We can't have relationships with countries. That's just dumb. And this guy writes, how can God, oh, what happened? Oh, how can God be with killers like you? How many sheep belong to Palestinians were gunned down in training? You will become extinct in a thousand years. Dear uh, viewer, who do you think is going to become extinct in a thousand years? The jihad, the self-destructive jihad, or the Jewish people who have survived through thick and thin? Read what Mark Twain writes. We have survived the Babylonians and the Persians and the Greeks and the Romans and have maintained our sharp minds uh, and, and, and our yearning to return to this land. All right, let's finish up here with a little positivity. Oh, a little more negativity. Just another one. I like this one a lot. Illegal immigrant from Poland. It's true, by the way, that my grandfather was from Poland, but that's because we were kicked out of this land by the Romans. Uh, but now we're back because of God's historical justice. Let's finish up with some positive stuff. Here is Bob. He writes, nice one, Yishai. Standing strong to defend Israel and the free world. And that's why I make these tweets, right? Because one could say, why do you even waste your time? Because there's Bobs out there that need strengthening. And then there's also, by the way, uh, 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 ignorant folks who need to hear a strong truth. And there's also bad guys that need to see that, that the, the image of, of my uh, rapid response team in our defense and to hear that, yes, we're going to fight for a thousand years. It's pointless to try to destroy us. Let's finish up with this one. Yeshai brother, you, sir, are a badass. That's good because Jews need to be badass. A Jew's Jew, a mensch. Keep it up. I'm Israel Chai. All right. Thank you very much, Ezra. And thank you very much to all the folks that wrote in on this tweet. There's hundreds more comments, uh, but it all started very simply with this picture of uh, badass Jews, strong Jews uh, in the land of Israel defending themselves. 
Uh, and it's a pleasure uh, to be with you and to continue to be strong from this good land. I do urge you to subscribe to our channel. We work hard to keep it fun and entertaining and flowing. So please subscribe to subscribe to Yishai Fleischer TV. And uh, there are blessings to you from this good land, from this land of blessings to you. Uh, and if you're watching this uh, right before Passover, as I'm recording this, I want to wish you a happy and healthy Passover. May we cleanse ourselves this Passover from all the chametz, all the chametz is all the leaven products, but it really means all the all, all the unnecessary stuff that has stuck onto us, all the kind of death energy. Let's shed that, uh, re renew our commitment to faith in God uh, and to supporting and strengthening Israel. God bless you folks wherever you are and shalom.